In this video, I will show you how to create objects and show these objects in the chart. Let's begin by creating a custom indicator and let's call it uh, whatever name you want. Uh, I will call it set text. Next, on calculate, we leave it as default. We compile to see if there is some error. For sure, there is no error at this level. Uh, I already wrote uh, some code, so I will be copy paste uh, to my new file, to my new indicator. Uh, this is a three line code, object create. I allocated three uh, objects, symbol one, two, and symbol three. I will copy this three, uh, I will copy first line, symbol one. I allocated a string variable in the memory and I put in it uh, a string Joseph Shalou. You can put whatever data you want. The second uh, symbol to string variable, also I put some text in it. And a third variable also, whatever text you want, you can put in it. Now, I will bring, uh, there is three blocks of codes. I will take the first block of code to my custom indicator. In this block of code, I am saying I want to create an object and write in it uh, the string Joseph Shalvo. I am also defining the color, the font, the location of the object in the chart. I mean the X, Y coordinates. I will take the second block of code, which contain also the same uh, the same object, but I will put in it the symbol 2. The symbol 2, I mean RPC technology. Also, I will define uh, the fonts, uh, the, the, uh, the XY coordinates, the location of the ob object in the chart. And the color also red. I want it to be red. And this is it. Now we compile to see if there is any error. There is no error. So I open the MetaTrader and I load the custom indicator set text as you see here. I double click it. OK. And as you see, it is appearing at the X, Y, exactly the X, Y as I defined it. The three objects are appearing under each other because the first Y is 600, the second is 630, and the third 660 as you see here in the code. So for that reason, they are appearing under each others. Now, let me show you something about the breakpoints. You can set a breakpoint if you want to debug your code. Sometimes you face coding difficulties, many problems may appear, and you don't know why it is happening. So the best solution is to run your custom indicator in the debug mode. So here you set your breakpoint, just double click it and run the chart in debug mode. Press OK and the debugger will enter into, it will catch the breakpoint. So you can step over, you can step into your code line. So uh, it is entering uh, once again in the on calculate. Why is that? On calculate is called on every short tick. For that reason, the debugger is entering to on calculate on every tick. And whatever the coding error is, you can detect it with, with this debugging uh, method.